Okay, this is the tasting of the apple variety discovery. To the right, you see the apple which we harvested from our allotment, and the on a tree which was planted this year, 2014. It was made in three. And to the right, as you uh, to the left, you see the apple variety discovery again that we bought from a little supermarket, the only place I could find this apple. And uh, as you see, I, I tried to choose the similar sizes of this apple. There are bigger ones than that, but I uh, just wanted to be showing the representative apple that compares to this apple that we harvested from our own. This to the right, the apple that we have from our allotment, is the smaller one in the previous video that we had for harvesting of the uh, discovery apple. You saw it already. This is the smaller one, bigger one we ate. And uh, as, as I told, the left one is from uh, Shopbot. The supplier is a, is a supplier in Kent. A variety we know this is called discovery. It's most popular early English apple variety with a sweet aroma and great taste, as described. And that is from Kent in England. This is the packaging of that apple that we bought. As you see, this is a British apple. We like British apples and uh, now we do a taste comparison. Uh, as you see, um, now I have cut a sample of both apples. This is the apple from our own allotment. This is the shop bought one. Now I compare. I start from the one that we have bought from the shop. It's a slightly redder. Ours is a um, yeah pink. This one is red. Okay, I can see it's kind of bland. It's soft, quite soft. Then after a while, it gives a little bit. Sweet taste. This apple is nice. It's better than most of the other apples that I bought, and they are imported apples. It's definitely better than all of them. Now, comparing this with the apple that we have grown. It's much denser. Immediately you feel the taste. Acidic and sweet flavor comes. It's definitely much denser. It's crunchier. I like this apple actually. I feel that this one that we have grown our also is the better apple. I don't know why this one we bought from the shop. It's from the UK. It's from Kent. It's 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 very soft. The taste is nothing comparable to this one. This one is really good apple. I cannot help it. I have to go for a really crunchy. Really fresh. This apple was probably more than one week in the in the fridge, and yet it's fresh. And this one we bought from supermarket. Okay, I give it another chance. I'll get a bite of it. It's soft. Nothing comparable to that. Almost bland. I don't know. Um, 
Stephen Hayes, um, who has an orchard in Hampshire, Dr. Stephen Hayes, says that he don't like apple variety discovery. In a video that he is talking about the beauty of the bath apple, he says he don't like discovery. I think, first of all, he has not planted himself in his orchard any apple variety discovery. I think he has compared the taste with anything else from the shop bought ones, which is this one, it's very soft, almost bland. But the one that I've grown is really amazingly delicious. And it's dense. It's dense, crunchy, mm, really apple as an aroma. The bigger one that we caught, and we harvested, and we ate it already, it had a, uh, to a, about one centimeter deeper into the flesh. It was pink. It tasted like slightly like a strawberry. And this one, which is a smaller one of them, not like that, but tastes the same. Tastes very good. Not as much as a strawberry flavor in this one, but definitely a very good apple, I think. I recommend this apple. If you ha if you want to plant an apple tree, consider this. By the way, um, I bought this apple from the Blackmore Nursery, the tree. And on the first year, we gave uh, four fruits. One of them brought on the tree. The other one, I don't remember what happened, probably fell or kids ate. And these two we harvested, we made a video of harvesting it, and the taste is superb. I like it. Of course, I have other varieties of apple. I have about seven varieties of apples. I will taste them later. Some of them have given fruit this year, like the fall stuff and the um, sun, sun, um, sunset. And the bountiful, which is a cooking apple, dual purpose cookie and cooking and culinary apple. This one, uh, culinary and dessert apple, but this one is really good. It's a, it's an eating apple. It has kept more than one week in our fridge. As yet, look and taste fresh. The same variety of apple, UK, um, our UK grown apple. We bought it from Lidl from this supplier. W one. Two one seven. This is a batch number, I think. Is in Kent. Uh, very soft, bland compared to that one. Taste bland. It's better than the imported apples, which are very leathery actually. Well, this one no. It's, it's an apple. It's very soft. Taste nothing comparable to this. I recommend this one. Apple Variety Discovery from Blackmore Nursery. I noticed that also the trees I bought from two nurseries. The trees from the Blackmore Nursery on the first year, 70% of them, 70% of all the trees, of, of 30 odd trees that I planted, 70% of them have given fruit and they were from Blackmore. The rest of them 50% of those ones which I bought from Keepers Nursery and others have given fruit. So, the health, both of them are good nurseries, I feel. They provide very healthy trees. And uh, this particular one is from the Blackmore. I have all other apples. I will taste them later and uh, we, can, we can compare them. Thanks.